What is up guys, Brandon aka Game Junction here and we're going to talk a little bit today about physical media and apparently it's dying. Um, we've known for a while that digital has kind of taken over. I believe the statistics are 75% of gamers are all digital. Um, and we're talking all mediums of physical media. So we're talking movies, music, TV, video games, books, everything. So, I mean, all physical media kind of encompasses into one thing. And it's quite unfortunate that it's come this way, but we've seen it coming for a long time. And look, I'm not going to be one of those guys that's like, physical media is the best. It's the only way to consume your media. There is no other way. Digital is terrible. Look, I get it. I'm a physical media guy. I, you know, buy my physical media for essentially everything. I've got my, you know, Mario here on 4K Blu-ray. Got my physical games, retro and modern. I buy a little bit of everything physical media and I'm a big proponent of physical media. But at the same time, I still have a large di digital catalog. Because, you know, I've been subscribed to Xbox Live and, and um, PSN for a long time. So every month I get free physical games and it's kind of build up a collection. Also, there's like GOG and um, the Amazon services. They give away free games every month. So on all these platforms, I build up this collection of free games um, that are digital. And, you know, I've delved into some of those on. Yep, they're free. I'll take it. Do I want to go out and buy specifically um, digital content? Not necessarily. If I can get it physical, I, I will. 100%. Um, but we are coming to a time where physical is dying. We just recently saw that Best Buy was pulling most of their physical media away from their stores. Not all of it. They kind of retracted on some stuff. But they are going to keep games in there in some capacity. Just not in a large capacity. Um, I believe it is like Walmart is kind of taking over the physical video games media sort of distribution. So it's kind of interesting to see where things are heading right now. And I found an interesting article I wanted to check out that uh, where they're talking essentially about physical media still matters in the streaming age and it's time for streamers to embrace it. So streaming is the, the new medium um, for, you know, consuming content especially when it comes to movies and and tv um it's taken over netflix hulu all that stuff is the prime way for most people to consume content <clears throat> so yeah digital versus physical media isn't a new debate which it isn't i mean it's been a debate for a very long time at this point look like even the psp go um the ouya the Google Stadia, these were all digital-only platforms that were attempting to do this years and years ago. I mean, the PSP Go, I don't remember what year that launched, but that was the final version of the PSP to essentially support only digital. And even at that point in time, Sony wanted to go all digital in, just, in some form. Um, they knew it saved money. Um, they, yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to produce a, a physical format and then you don't have to pay stores to display. So like these companies are incentivized to go digital. And now we've just gotten the word on Ubisoft talking about being all digital and not owning your games and blah, 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 blah. It's just, it's unfortunate. So this kind of goes into the fact that you don't own your digital media, which is 100% true. You do not own your digital media. When I was talking about my digital media catalog, I do not own that. Even coming from PSN and Xbox Live as free games every month, I don't technically own that. That is a license to play that game. and You, you don't own it. That's just, just how it is. I mean, streaming, obviously you own nothing there. Streaming, things get taken off of Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime every single month, and then things get added. So you may not ever have a way to watch a movie that won't go on a streaming service. I mean, if you're into B horror movies like me, like you're not going to find most of that on any streaming services, even those horror ones. Like Some of that is just never going to be on anything. This is every couple of years a company like Amazon will find itself in 
the news for reminding people that they don't own their digital media. Or the New York Times will do an expose on the matter. Yeah, blah, 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 we know. Uh, preservation is more at risk than ever, and this is 100% true. Um, preservation on new content, new video games, is going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, to preserve things like online-only games is, is dang near impossible. Um, there are ways to get that done with code, but it's, I mean, games as a service, like, you're, it's not getting preserved. Um, that's just how it is, and it's unfortunate. These games will be lost to time, and it's as if they'll have never existed. So, art has always been disappeared through the ages, but that should be the case in our technological era, and preservation should be the best it's ever been, yet we just witness and witness the gunning of TCM and TV feel, feels like it's at more risk than ever, and that's just true. TV is at risk, and the things that premiere on TV that are on streaming services that aren't getting physical formats, um, most TV does not come to a physical format. So it is at risk of being preserved. And um, things get preserved, such as thrown on YouTube or some sort of service with video. But another thing comes into debate, that you'll never preserve that piece of content in the full quality that it was released at. I'm talking, you know, exactly the way that the film or TV was produced, um, that entire full quality. Uh, sure, you can, you know, capture things that get thrown up on YouTube, but it's not going to be the full quality that it that it premiered or was shown on TV or movies. Uh, hidden ghosts in the haunting of the Hill House, blah, 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 that has nothing to do with it. It takes up space, but it's better quality. Everything you watch in streaming or purchase digitally is compressed. Which is true. Compression is a big issue with all of this stuff with streaming. Every single thing streaming is compressed. And that's just all there is to it. Uh, that means that regardless of the hardware, you're still getting lower picture and audio quality. Yes, even those fancy 4K versions some streamers have started offering. Yes, even the 4K stuff that, say, Netflix or Hulu offers, it's typically upscaled and it's not full 4K. And you're still getting a lower bit rate, a lower video quality, regardless of it saying that it is 4K, it's still a compressed 4K or an upscaled 4K. So, yeah, you lose out all the features of, say, movies, you don't get all that behind the scenes, you don't get that making of, you don't get all that art, you don't get any of that extra stuff that comes in a typical, like, Blu-ray, or sometimes even games will present that stuff. And games are going towards streaming. That is a thing that is happening now. You can see with the PlayStation Portal, streaming only device. Um, obviously, with the next Xbox console that's rumored slash not rumored, it is digital only. And I have a feeling that the console after that is going to move to a streaming only console. So that is just my take into that. But it is unfortunate that we are kind of just losing everything. I mean, we're absolutely losing everything. Like, this stuff, this this matters to me. Preservation is one of my number one goals in working in the video game community. I am all about preservation. I would love to have everything out there that is not preserved well on display um, in a museum or somewhere for people to see and for history and historical purposes. Um, to be able to access all this content later on down the road. Like, I want to be, for instance, I want to be able to have this 4K version of the Super Mario Brothers movie presented and preserved in full quality with all the extras and bonus content for people to watch in 50 years. And the way to do that is owning the physical copy. Now, for video game preservation, like, I even go as far as wanting to preserve the betas and, and the... Um, early builds of games like you can look out there's Game Boy cartridges out there where it was like the beta form it was like the beta form of the game it was released on a cart I want to be able to have that dumped and preserved for people to be able to access I think that is super important I think it's something that really matters and uh, I'm all on board for vi video game movie TV music preservation and I'm all physical as much as I can be but again I won't be that guy that's like you know, physical is all that matters because I know the direction that we're heading in. I do play modern video games. I love modern video games. It's unfortunate that most of the content is not on these discs 
and you have to really research and look what discs or Nintendo Switch carts are released that actually have the full content on the cart or disc. Um, but regardless, I still love modern gaming. It doesn't take that away from me. It's something that I will always enjoy. I love keeping up with the new releases, but I also love retro gaming. I also love movies and TV. So this is something that really matters to me. And um, it's unfortunate that stores are taking away the physical media, um, but it's it, by no means surprising to me. So my recommendation with this video is if there are things that you absolutely 100% love and want to own, grab those now, make sure that you have those. And then also, if you have the, the physical games, make sure you back up those games because disc rot is a thing with discs. Um, game cartridges eventually are going to go corrupt. So back those up. There are dumpers out there. There are other people that will help you preserve your exact copy of the game. Sure, there are ROMs out there, but if you want to preserve your copy that you own, do that now. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, I, I've got a few dumping tools for like the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. I'm working on getting one for like the Super Nintendo and other platforms. And if you have, you know, Pokemon games with all the save data and all this time put in, back up those saves so that you have those in the future. I think it's super important. Physical media does matter. And um, unfortunately, the general public just doesn't care about physical media anymore. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you physical? Are you digital? Are you both? Do you care about physical media? Are you just a digital gamer? Let me know because I'm, I'm right in the middle. I'm both. Um, but by all means, I support physical media. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys later.